People do not care about our Tanzanianness or our Ghanaianness or our Kenyanness or our Ethiopianness. In their eyes, we are all Africans. Nobody cares about us. If you want to know how weak we are, and we are weak, look at how we are treated. Last month, the world met in New York. When African heads of states and government are speaking, the hall is empty. Nobody bothers because they are saying nothing. Even if they are saying something, it is something that can be ignored. Compare when an African head of state and government is speaking and when the Prime Minister of Little Israel is speaking. They will listen. Because we are weak and disunited. Realize that we must make sacrifice for the future because the disunited Africa will never re realize our potential. There is not a single African country that is in meaningful technology. Not a single African country produces a mobile phone. Yet the single most important ingredient in mobile telephony is to be found in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Not a single African country produces a car other than assembling completely knockdown kits. There is no meaningful production of pharmaceutical products in Africa. Go to northern Mozambique. The gas that is there cannot be produced because there is conflict. Northern Mozambique. Go to Somalia. Conflict. Here in your motherland. Conflict. Go to South Sudan. Conflict. Go to Sudan. Conflict. Go to Libya. Conflict. Go to Central African Republic, conflict. Go to the Democratic Republic of Congo, conflict. Go to Burkina Faso, conflict. Go to Mali, conflict. Go to Chad, conflict. Go to Niger, conflict. Go to Cameroon, conflict. Go to Nigeria, conflict. Do I go on? That is the state of the continent. The leaders were conscious that Africa decolonized without unity would remain weak. And of course, Africa is weak. The weakest continent on earth is this continent in which we are, our continent.